So it looks like you guys finally did it. By not buying GPUs, they're lowering prices and it's starting to be some pretty significant price drops. I mean, remember these GPUs are very new. They were just coming out last fall. The first thing that is gonna be lowered is gonna be AMD's 7900 XT. This one is going down to $799. That matches the 4070 Ti at $799. But should you buy it at this point? Should you continue to wait for prices to go down even further? We've seen reports that GPU sales are down really high staggering amounts compared to what it was previously. Of course, we can argue crypto mining really you know, artificially inflated a lot of those numbers during the last two years. And I think that's definitely true, but the companies misjudged the initial prices for a lot of these GPUs. Just because people bought the 4090 doesn't mean they're gonna wanna buy a 4070 Ti. Likewise, just because they bought a 7900 XTX, it doesn't mean they're gonna want to buy the 7900 XT. And if you're looking at buying a GPU from perhaps a different marketplace, check out today's sponsor, jawa.gg. I've actually used this myself. It's a marketplace where you can buy and sell similar to something like eBay. It's gonna be a lot more curated and they have a lot more focus on making sure that the marketplace is somewhere that's fair. It's gonna be safe, that has a lot more real gamers involved. Today's GPUs being so expensive, if you have a marketplace like Jawa, you're going to have lower fees and a lot of seller and buyer protections. New buyers can get $10 off their first order with the code WELCOME10. Happy shopping and I hope you find some awesome GPUs. Now, I've actually been doing some testing with these GPUs, primarily the 4070 Ti. One thing that I found that was really, really bad about it, remember how people were saying, oh, a 4070 Ti? is better than like a 3090 Ti. Well, let me break it to you. It really isn't. Even though in certain scenarios and certain games, the frame rates are going to be similar. You're going to have a lot less power draw. 4070 Ti does have its merits, of course, much like the 7900 XT has its merits as well. Where it comes crashing down is when the VRAM is really taxed. Not only the VRAM amount, I'm not just talking about 12 gigabytes. We're talking about the memory bus, the 192 bit. It will buy bottleneck it's going to give you stutters and bad performance when you're doing like ray tracing and gasp 4k i know you're not supposed to play at 4k on a 4070 ti but it wasn't a 3090 ti a 4k card wasn't that the best card last generation all of a sudden you can't play 4k anymore who are you to tell people what resolution to play at so i don't really buy that story at all that brings us to the $799 7900 XT. Is this now a much better value than the 4070 Ti? Well, a lot of things seem to indicate that it is. I mean, 20 gigabytes of VRAM and it doesn't have the same crippled memory bus as the 4070 Ti. That means you're gonna be able to use it for a lot longer. These are expensive GPUs. What if you plan to keep it for like two or three years? What about 1440p games that are gonna have ray tracing in the future or really high textures. Your 4070 Ti is not going to be able to handle it. There's a better chance the 7900 XT may do better just because the VRAM is better, regardless of the actual brute force performance. Now, 799 is better, but really this GPU has been sort of on sale ever since it came out. We've seen them for as low as 849 and in those type of price brackets since the original 899 was definitely too expensive. In my opinion, 799 is still not enough. Ideally, this should be like a $699 GPU. Here is why I think so. Realistically, it should be a 6800 XT sort of predecessor because the 7900 XTX is a different tier of GPU. That one I feel is okay at $999. It presents some pretty decent value. That one is the AMD flagship and it makes sense for the performance that you have there. Now, the 7900 XT, even though it's called the 7900 we don't really have to go by what the name is we have to look at the performance and sort of the relation in the stack to other gpus that are there it feels like a 7800 xt to be honest and remember the 6800 xt was 649 dollars and that one performed a lot closer to the 6900 xt that was also 999 dollars than what we're seeing with the 7900 xt and the xtx so i would say 699 maybe at most 740 
nine for like some of the AIB models would be a reasonable price where you could definitely recommend people buy that GPU. Seven ninety nine is definitely still pushing it a little bit too far, but certainly seeing them drop these prices down further is a good indication that nobody's really buying these ultra expensive PC parts. And if they want to sell them, they're going to have to present more value to the consumer. You can say they don't have to sell it to you if you don't want to buy it at that price. It's fine. There'll be people that buy it. Sure. But you can see that they're having issues. They're going to have to present more value to these GPUs to make people, you know, sort of get rid of their older GPUs. If they have like a 20 series or like a 5700 XT, if they want to upgrade to this generation, it's going to have to make more sense. And a hundred dollar price drop is something, but it's still not enough to go. You could technically say NVIDIA was the first one to drop the price when they pushed the 4080 12 gigabyte all the way down to what it is now, the $799 4070 Ti. That one as well is still overpriced at $799. They both realistically should be like $699 because at least then you could say, all right, they went up a little bit over last generation, but it's within $50 to $100. And maybe they have some value added features like maybe DLSS 3.0 is worth $50 or $100 bucks to you, but maybe not $200 or $300. And maybe the extra you know, VRAM on the 7900 XT is also worth a little bit more. So it's getting close but the only problem is by the time these GPUs continue to go down in price, so will their age. And like you can get a cheap 3090 now, but it's been years since they came out. So by the time you can get a cheap 7900 XT, if they don't drop these prices down fast, the next generation will be close to releasing or at the very minimum, sort of the refreshed of the current generation. Like Nvidia does the super AMD did like the 6950 XT and things like that. So then you get further away from a good value because it's years in the making. That's why we have to see these prices lower almost immediately in order to consider these a good value now. But if you're on the fence between a 7900 XT and a 4070 Ti, it's a tough decision. If you're going to buy one, I think you're going to get more performance with the 7900 XT. You may not get DLSS 3 or quite the ray tracing performance, but the 7900 XT really is no slouch. I was pretty impressed when I was playing a lot of different games with it. And while you may have to turn those ray tracing settings down, you may have to say the same for the 4070 Ti in many cases, especially if you want to play like at 4K, you definitely want to go for the 7900 XT in that case. And the AMD drivers, while they're not as good as NVIDIA's, they certainly have been a little bit better. And then my opinion, if you really want DLSS and ray tracing, I think at the very minimum, you're going to need a 4080, but that's the next one that they really have to drop the price in because at $1,199, it remains way too expensive. People don't want to buy it. Remember, right now, there are like a huge amount of GPUs in stock all the way up to the 4090. So people have a pretty good selection. You can even find the 7900 XTX. You can find Intel Arc GPUs. You can find all types of NVIDIA GPUs in stock. They may not be the best price, but everything's widely available now. Therefore, on the less desirable versions like the 7900 XT, which people weren't buying, they have to be more aggressive with this pricing. I think they're going to kind of see where it goes, reduce it $100 to see if people buy it or not, and then they can do the next round or keep it at that price. So maybe if you guys don't buy any GPUs now, maybe in a few months, by the end of the year, maybe by like Black Friday sales, we can see this GPU maybe at $699, and then the 4070 Ti will have to follow because or else nobody's going to buy that one either. And then we start talking about more reasonable GPU prices for really good performance. So that's going to be interesting to see. All right, guys. So let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.